What drew you to the part? Man, I mean, you kind of just said it. Um, one, these, these kind of films, it's, it's just rare, really rare for these to get made, and HBO has done it right in the sense of just, you know, not holding back and exposing it in the right light and telling this story in, in all its honesty. Um, the cast with Mark Ruffalo, Julia Roberts, Jim Parsons, Matty Bomer, Joe Mantello, I mean, it's just to go and collaborate and work with these guys. and. I don't know, it's just, it's so many of these variables, just it made it right, you know? I think a lot of people don't realize that this really set the foundation for a lot of we, what we saw in the gay rights movement. 30 years later, Michael yeah. Sam is the first openly gay player to be drafted into the NFL. Mm -hmm. It just goes to show, I think, how far we've come in this 30 year span. It's, it's, I mean, it's hopefully, there's so many things that came along with this as well. In the early 80s, they didn't even know what it was. It was gay cancer in the, you know, 80, 81, and, and that's where this film starts. And, and to have this moment last week with Sam being drafted is hopefully one of many more great things to come, you know? The, this whole thing and the fight for equality, and that's truly what it was about. You are a sports fan, born in I Canada, am. so obligatory hockey question. Yep. You are a Detroit Red, Red Wings fan. I am. Yeah, I grew up with Eisman. So I'm from Kelowna, BC, and he's Cranbrook, which is very close. So, and my oldest brother was an Eisman fan. So, being the youngest, I was like, now I'm an Eisman fan. Uh, <laughs> Just but, passed the jersey down to you. Yeah, it. truly. So, and, did you ever um, meet Eisman? I did. I had one of my best friends actually played a few games for Detroit. And um, I was in the tunnel at, Joe, at the Joe Louis Arena. And, um, and he walked by me and I was like talking to myself. I'm like, okay, you can't let your idol that you grew up with, with all the posters and everything you think about with that and um, go by me and just walk by. So I called him and um, I told him just that he was just a huge mentor for me and he was nothing but gracious and it was great. So how did he respond? Did he understand? You well, know? he was just like, it was pretty aggressive. Um, <laughs> you were I aggressive. It, I, well, not like that super fan, but I was more of like, just like, hey, I want you to know that you were just, you know, I, my idol growing up, and I'm sure he's heard it a million times. So uh, he was awesome. You were also present for one of the best games, mm -hmm. I think, in the history of Olympic hockey. Absolutely. Team USA's win over Russia in it the Sochi a, Olympics. Yeah, it was the best game I've, I've ever been to live. Being Canadian, it was just kind of neutral just watching these guys. And it was quite literally, you know, watching Oshie do his thing. I think it was five or six times he went. And Datsuk was just incredible that game. And it was unreal. That whole atmosphere, it was like 8,000 or 7,500 people. And it just, it felt like 20,000, you know, it was insane. What took you to Sochi? How did you even get um, there? Was it a plan just to go watch Olympic hockey? Well, it was like the perfect storm. I was doing uh, press for Lone Survivor, this war film that I had coming out. And then, um, in Moscow and I know a couple guys on Team Canada and I was like you know what I'm gonna swing down and and support these guys and and it just worked out it was a two-hour flight so it was nothing people remember you from your role as Tim Riggins I said in right. Friday Night Lights do you have a lot of athletes who are fans of the show uh, yeah I think you know they travel a ton too and um, if it's a four-hour flight two-hour flight whatever and so they get the DVDs and catch up and kind of do that so you know, it's such a small world. And when you run into these guys, it's like, you know, I'm a huge fan of so many of these hockey players, a few of the Rangers and, and whatnot. So it's a it's a blast just to talk shop and, and kind of, um, you know, tip a few back maybe. Would you, why not? Would you want to take on another sports role? Absolutely, if it's the right thing. I mean, I'm so gullible with it. Even if it's not a good sports movie, I'm going to get chills probably 30 times. Um, no, I, I love all that stuff, and, and we're actually very close to signing on to something, too, so Maybe we'll see. The, the T.J. Oshie story starring Taylor Kitsch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't, I, this I'll only take 10% of This today. one's a baseball thing, so we'll, we'll see. Well, Taylor Kitsch, congratulations. A cool. multitude of things, including The Normal Heart, which is on May 25th on HBO. Thanks so much for being here. Cool. Thanks for having me. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. It's not just SI Now, it's girls in bikinis because we got your back. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern only on SI.com. We hope to see you there with the girls in bikinis.